So now that we have seen the maximum likelihood estimation technique for a Gaussian distribution and a Bernoulli distribution, let us just take a step back and then see, does it always work? So I asked you to keep the mu maximum likelihood estimation that we did for the Bernoulli distribution in your mind to just recall for a Bernoulli distribution that we saw earlier, the mu ml was obtained as p over n. So let us assume that we had a data where we got 1, 1 and 0. This would mean that I got a head in the first attempt head in the second attempt and tail in the third attempt. So my mu ml for the fourth attempt, if I want to estimate the mu with which I'm going to get a head, it is going to be p, which is sum of all the heads, total number of heads that I've obtained. So it's going to be 2 over n. This seems logical, but what about 1, 1 and 1? In this case, I'm going to get a mu ml of 1. Okay, and what if I had obtained 0, 0 and 0? I'm going to get a mu ml of 0. So as you can see here, a minute variation could cause a greatly different estimation of my parameter. The reason why we have such a huge difference in our estimation is because the sample size is really small. So as you can see, by chance if I obtain 0 in the first toss, then my mu ml estimate for the second toss is going to be 0. Similarly, if I obtain the head in the first toss, then my M mu ml estimation for the second toss is going to be 1. So what we can see from here is maximum likelihood estimation may not actually give you the right values of mu if you do not have enough samples. So now that we have seen what MLE is and one case in which MLE does not work, I just like to tell you in general when MLE would be the best to use. So MLE is an estimation technique that works best when you have large number of data samples with you. And you know the probability distribution from which the data samples were sampled distribution well. So this is a very critical point. So we have actually overlooked this point in the explanation that I did. So what I mean by this second point is that, so I assumed that I obtained all the data points from a Bernoulli distribution in the first case and from a Gaussian distribution in the second case. But what if I had actually obtained my excess from some other distribution in the second case but assumed wrongly that it was a Gaussian distribution. So you would actually see that MLE might not work really well if you make a faulty judgment about the distribution from which you have sampled. So this is something that you have to be really careful about and you also have to be careful that you have enough samples with which you can do the MLE estimation. And just remember that when I say that you know the probability distribution well, you should know the parametric form of the probability distribution. That's all we have for the maximum likelihood estimation. I hope you have enjoyed this particular session. If you want to look at more interesting lectures, please visit www.projectria.org. Thank you so much for your time.